Hello, it's Tamara with Tamara's Colorful Coven. I'm here today to do another uh, coloring book video flip through review on a book that I found at Five and Below. I think it was last Friday because I'm thinking that was the last time I was out of this house because it's been so cold here in Kansas. Um, I think right now it is. Well, let me look here. Yeah, if you look here, it is. Well, it was at zero degrees. Now it's at two degrees. That's cold. And normally I love the cold due to my hot flashes that I have because of, oh, lovely menopause. But anyways, I found this book at Five and Below. Um, now, I did try to see if there, it was on Amazon, and it was not on Amazon. But I did find a link for it, and I put it down below in the description for you guys. Um, it's like, a, I think it was from Barnes and Noble, I think. So, without further ado, let's get, step into it. I got this for like, um, maybe almost five. Now, the website I found for it is, uh, like a Barnes and Noble, and it is going to be more expensive. And I apologize, the heat just kicked on here. But this is from Five and Below. It is called, it's actually by Hinkler Explore. Uh, Kaleidoscope Coloring, it says age of six and plus. Um, but it's tattoos, poster art. And I, from the website I got it from, it's paperback. And the sizes are three by 17 by 230 by five. I want to show you the back. Now, like I said, this is poster art. It was inspired by vintage artwork and stunning designs with tattoo poster art. Featuring 20 tear-away pages for you to color and display. And you can enjoy these interesting and alluring tattoo-inspired pieces. Pick up your pens and step into a brilliant world of tattoo art. And poster size to fit a standard picture frame with an A4 or U.S. letter display. And this is by Hinkler. I guess if you go to Hinkler.com, I didn't even think about them. But I, like I said, I found it at Barnes and Noble, and I've got the link down below if you guys are interested. Now this is nice paper in here. It's really nice. It's all one-sided. Of course, I still put something behind it, no matter what. For when I color, and it's thick paper too. Now, I want to say that yes, there are some pages in here that you'll find in other tattoo coloring books. That doesn't bother me none because it just gives me a chance to be able to color it different colors than what I've originally colored it. I like these simpler ones. Now I can do something like this. It's no problem. It's just I do these when I know I have time to really focus on them. Not like that. Now I'm not too sure about something like this just because it's so dark. I'm not I'm not even really a grayscale person. I just, that's not my thing. And especially when it gets this dark. That's kind of cool. Now, I can't see me doing this. That is just too much intricate work. I can't see me doing that. I do like this. Now, I have seen this in other tattoo books. I've seen that one for sure. I don't like this. And I like that too. This paper is so thick, I swear that I'm missing some pages, but I'm not. I'm not used to thick paper like that. And I think I've seen this before, but without these. I have a small tattoo, but well, not a small. It's good size, like maybe an 8 by 10 
And it's called Rock and Roll Tattoos, and I'm thinking this is in it, but without these. Ooh, I like that. Can't tell if that's really an eagle or an owl. I think that is an eagle. Can't really tell. I do like this, but it's still way too dark. And I do like that. I have seen this page in other books. And that is it. Thank you for your time. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And for future notifications, click that little bell. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.